Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Airplane Plus, which is being made by forum user Blackheart612. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely selection of airplane parts, which of course give you a bit more variety when building things in the space plane hangar. Now I'm going to admit right off the bat here, guys, this is a really small parts pack with only currently four different parts, and it's two of those parts, which is what really interested me about this mod, as they are propeller engines. I don't know, there's just something about mods that add in propeller-based engines into the game that makes me smile. So, into the space plane hangar we go to take a look at what this currently has on offer. Now, since we're doing space planes, let's grab a Mark I inline cockpit, as, uh, especially for propeller airplanes, this always feels like to me at least, the best cockpit for it. And then we'll head down to the engines first, as they are my favorite of the two parts, and the first one we have here is the K1710 Whirlwind. And this baby is pretty cool, a little bit bulbous in shape, but nicely stock alike, and a beautiful propeller on the front, and a pretty decent uh, sound design to it as well when we get out to the runway to show it off in a little bit. And of course, the part itself, oh come on, there we go, there go all the other stats here, has of course a built-in alternator, a max thrust, which is uh, hmm, a bit much. Mm, quite frankly, a, a lot much. Now, this is one thing, though, I'm going to point out here for both of the engines. The mod maker is actually asking for community help at editing the config files for the engines uh, because they recognize that right now they're a little bit overpowered. So this thrust is probably going to change and probably pretty quickly because, yeah, a max thrust of 109 kilonewtons, that's a... Uh, seems like a bit much for one of these propellers, but on the propellant end, they will use a 0.012 liquid fuel per second and 0.347 air intake per second. And of course, it has a built-in air intake, which should do all the work that it needs. And I love how little liquid fuel it uses, as these things really do sip the fuel down, so you can use these to fly around for quite a while. Now, the next engine we have, if we pop this one off, is over here, the RR Mar Marlin engine, and this, oh god, I love the look at that thing, look at that, that's just beautiful, you got all the nice exhaust ports going down the side, the nice air intake there, and of course, once again, uh, a lot more overpowered, 174 max thrust, but again, remember, that's probably going to change quite quickly with uh, the other users of this mod editing those down, and of course, for the propellant, it will use point. 018 liquid fuel per second and 0.553 air intake and of course has its own built-in air intake so you really shouldn't have to matter about that and that is the engines my two favorite parts in this mod pack they are rather quite beautiful very beautiful in fact and the next part we're gonna have a look at here is in fuel tanks and it's kind of an odd part but I actually do find it useful now when you're usually building space planes or any sort of plane you usually only have uh, the one selection for liquid fuel fuselage and that's this mark one there but what if you want something that's a little bit smaller so in we have the mark one junior liquid fuel fuselage which is simply a half size version which doesn't seem like a much of a change but honestly I do like that because you don't always want a really long plane you can just pop one of these in there and uh, bam half size fuselage with of course half the fuel actually I think a lot less than half the fuel yes this one carries 400 liquid fuel and the half size junior only carries 50. Perhaps maybe that needs to be raised up a bit. Uh, this is fairly newly released, so hopefully a few of these things will change. And then the last part that we have is down here in aerodynamics. And again, it's a part that's a shortened version of what we already have. And it is a... Where is, where'd it go? There it is, a short tail connector. Now we already have in the game the tail connector A, which as we can see here, if I could place it, there we are, is quite a long little thing. Not exactly little at all. And useful, but maybe you want something a little bit shorter. Of course, we do have other options of the tail connectors over here, but what if you want something quite short? So there we go, we have the short tail connector. 
and excellent. It's good to go. And uh, I guess, of course, these ones are probably the ones more that it's going after rather than the one that I grabbed. But nonetheless, good to have that shorter option so that you have different design choices that you can make with your aircraft. This is probably better if it looks... Yes, looks much better right there. It looks more like a plane now. And so, yeah, that is the four different parts that we have with this mod. Uh, not much, especially in the last two parts. But overall, quite fun, and I especially like it for the engines. So let's grab a crappy quick little plane that I built earlier to show the engines off for this thing. And we're actually going to fly it twice, because of course we're going to fly it with one engine once, and then we'll come, come back in here and change the engine over and do it again. So this first one we're going to have a go with is the RR Marlin engine, which, oh dear sweet Jebediah, I just realized the name. Oh my god. <laughs> Good call, Blackheart. Good call on that name of that engine. How did I not notice that before? I've been playing with this mod for about an hour now before making this video, and I just realized RR Marlin. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's go to launch this plane and show you the fun that you can have with these things. Now, oh, there we go. We are loaded up and good to go, and let us listen as the engine starts up. There we go. A nice little pistony sequence at the beginning, but then it uh, it is a little bit harsh of a transition. Ooh, dear lord, we're spinning. Okay. Oh my, we're not alive and we've crashed. Lovely. Let's restart that flight. <laughs> All right, okay, as I was saying, a good finish with the piston starting up, but then it is a little bit of a harsh transition to the just general buzz and whir of a propeller engine or aircraft, rather, however you want to put it. But overall, I still quite like the sounds. The pistons, I wish, would go for a little bit longer on that startup sequence. Let's actually take off the plane so that my crappy placement of the wheels doesn't spin us around again. And there we are, quite a lovely little plane. It serves its purpose, and uh, as I said, quite a good little sound to the engine. Now, again, remember what I said earlier about these being a bit overpowered. We took off in quite a short amount of runway with only half throttle. And we're already going, oh boy, almost 200 meters per second. So that definitely, definitely needs a bit of an edit to, uh, you know, make that a bit less cheaty of sorts. But if we throttle all the way up, there we go. We'll get quite a bit faster, and since this thing does sip the fuel down quite slowly, we could go for quite a ways with this plane and be just fine. Now, if only it was a more maneuverable plane that I could fly better. Or, you know, if I just had better flying ability. Okay, let's switch this baby up to the other engine, revert flight, back to the space plane hangar. And, okay, okay, let's take the wheel off first. Hold on, hold on here. I should have just built a second plane. I, I That would have been a much better idea, but I didn't think this through well enough now, did I, guys? And, oh, nope, that's the same one. The whirlwind is what we're looking for next. And let's place our wheel. Oh, God, no, no, no. There we go. Toggle, snap, there, beautiful. And fly. Yep, would have been much better if I just would have built the second plane beforehand. Did not think that through. And once again, let's uh, turn on the SAS and throttle down quite a bit and listen to that engine startup. See, the piston on that one seemed to go for a little bit longer. And the buzz or whirring of the engine is a bit, a bit more mechanical sounding to me than the other. The other one has a bit more of a smooth sort of whirring to the engine. Uh, but overall, both quite good sounds. I really do enjoy both of them in flying them so far, and if I would create a better plane with better aerodynamics, perhaps this thing would fly better. But if I let go, it tilts right down to the ground. Probably doesn't help that my uh, landing gear is up, but yeah, my flying ability on its own will probably mean this plane's destruction. But yes, this has been the Airplane Plus mod. Only four parts. Hopefully more do get added in the future, and hopefully we do see some config balances with them. But overall, quite a nice little parts pack. I have been enjoying it thus far, and if you would like to give it a try for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. And I definitely say to go give it a try. Have some fun building some rotary aircraft. Always fun and yeah, a good time. I don't know why I'm repeating myself there, but yes, that's going to be it for this episode, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, you do come back for the next, but until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.